Hey guys, I'm Zeoic. And I'm Caleb. Well, welcome back to our Cooperative Redstone series. And this is episode 2. Alright guys, and for this episode, we actually have a the smallest 2x2 two two hidden piston door that we can think of. Um, it's 2x4x8, by by but it's really fast. You just it just it just works like a charm and it's actually really small you can fit it in a lot of areas as stated by Caleb earlier this design is only two by four by eight so it's really small compared to any other two by two hidden piston door that I've actually seen and it requires so little resources I like can't believe it myself it uses a few piston block updates that's pretty much all you can say. It powers a few of them and then they update the others. And when it unpowers, the closing pistons that were actually unpowered updates other pistons making it close. Alright, so say that you don't want to have like um, a lever or like a constant power. You can easily add a toggle system so you can just run a pulse to this um, thing. You can use a button or anything you want. Here's the uh, version. It works just the same except it goes up because now it is 2 by 5 by 8 So this design of the door is one block higher, but it's definitely worth it to make it toggleable. All you have to do is run your redstone input into that block that the button's on, and it'll be perfectly fine. All, and all it requires is a bunch of more a bunch more redstone because you need a redstone block, and a couple more sticky pistons, some more building blocks, and a redstone repeater. So not that bad of a resource compromise. And if you're low on resources, you could always use a regular piston with sand on top of it, because that works just fine too. And now, to show you what you can actually do with this. 2 by 5 by 8 same dimensions, all it is is now that it has a wall. And let's just clarify this, you don't have to put your button here, this is just showing where the input would go if you were going to use a button. You could easily put a button like um, right here and then run wire to it. That's just for us, so we can, you know, that just shows you. So, this is the design for the fancy looking one, or what you would actually use in your base. Okay, so you must be thinking, well, this thing is mighty ugly on the other side. You can see the pistons. Um, what if I wanted to use it on a pathway? If somebody came the other way, they could see it. We have something to fix that. It is 4 by 5 by 8 but now it's it works on both sides I will run along here and show you and if Logan you could so kindly demonstrate all right works on both sides there and here this design is five high which is only one higher than the original design and four wide which is two wider than the original and the f width of four is the smallest possible width that you can get with a 2x2 two two hidden piston door that closes on both sides like this one. So you don't have to worry about the ugly pistons showing up on the other side. Alright, so you may notice this design actually requires redstone on these blocks here because you have to have the redstone powering the repeaters and with this design you have to have them here too. So it wouldn't work. But since doing this makes uh, you have to go up another layer, the next design, the toggleable design, is actually the same. This design is the exact same, but yet same as the last one. You can use a short pulse or you can use a constant pulse. Either one, it's really, it's really, you know, whatever fits you. It's the same, it goes out on both sides. But for this one, it's much easier because it's a lot wider than the last one. So we could put the um, toggleable system in a lot better than we could over there because we were working with a smaller space. This design and the previous design both take up the same amount of space volume-wise, so you're not really sacrificing any amount of space adding the toggleable feature. Although it requires a few more resources to build, you are getting a pretty good deal out of it. You just have to send your redstone power into that block with the button on it. And again, if you don't have enough resources to pull this off, you could always use a regular piston with a block of sand on it instead. Now, just like the last one, over there this is the same size as all these are all the same size every one of these are the exact same size for the uh, four wide one. Um, it all works the same looks nice looks you know decent and for this one it actually works on both sides as do they all you just have to hook it up 
And doing this, it just requires you to tinker around with these half slabs in redstone. And we will show you how to do that in a tutorial if you want a tutorial. Alright guys, so that's the end of the showcase. Thank you guys for watching. And as stated in the previous episode, we need your suggestions on what to build next. Yes. If you want a tutorial, you can just comment below and, you know, say, hey, I need a tutorial. And also, if you like the series, please give a like so that way, you know, me and Logan, we, we have that inspiration to keep going and we just, we keep going strong. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.